Alright, when we last left our heroes, the very smart alien realized there was definitely no saboteurs here. And we're just gonna walk around in plain sight. And, uh, there's no problems here. Gotta put the things in the things. No, stop that. Thank you. Is the tube clogged, I guess? I think the tube is clogged. Is this a bucket or a tube? Looks kind of tubular. You know? Remember the, the 90s? Or that, that's more 80s. I don't know. It was in that, that Mario, the, that 90s themed Mario thing. Weren't those levels just called like secret level in Japanese? Like they all had the same level or something. Name or something in Japanese. It was just like secret levels. Oh, we just got eaten. We're dead. Oh, it's okay. I just realized he looks a lot like a Pikmin. If his little thing. Oh, he's dead again. <laughs> he laughed at my demise. It looks kind of like a white Pikmin. Do you want this? Oh, we messed up his TV. We need to make him move. We know how to do that. What's this? What's this? Do you want this, Mr. Ammonite? No? I like his, like, organic chandelier here thing. That is classy. Oh! You can make it go backwards. Eat his hat. You eat his hat. Uh, but what do I do? Do I do both? No? I thought maybe I could, like, steal his hat. No? He takes care of business one at a time. Hmm. Well, this is obviously important, so what happens when he does this? Oh, there's a button! Press the button! Oh, I missed the button. Yeah, the, the Mario World's, like, secret world thing. Hello. Oh. Okay, never mind, bye. Um. <laughs> I like how he laughs at it every time. I'm cool. Push the chair. Oh. He's like, huh? What is happening? Huh? There you go. Oh, key. Open the door. Oh, oh, it's for the, the thing. There you go. <laughs> nice dog. What a long dog. He's got like a horse snout situation. Oh, it's an elevator. Hooray. Bye now. He'll be fine. Oh, hey, we get to leave already. Thanks for coincidentally pressing that button to, like, save us. We're free! We're free! That robot has a very good timing. Or I guess maybe the elevator goes up to, to that? I don't, I don't know. Don't think about it too much. They love these little spire things. All of the games have sort of spires of some manner. It just fits with their aesthetic well. Or it is their aesthetic, but not that it fits. You can't see it because I kind of cropped it out, but there's certain effects show at the extreme left and right of the screen because there's like this blackness, like overlaid. Oh, we ran out of fuel. We're gonna die in space. Actually, that's not really how space, like, like, what, what is stopping us? Wh where is this gravity coming from? Okay. Well, there's a space elephant whale. So that's nice. <laughs> but I don't think that's how space travel goes. Well, we're stranded on a space dolphin whale elephant man. Where's dog? Oh, there's. <laughs> you can see his snout. There you go. 
Help. Timmy. Timmy fell down the well. G get help. Lassie, please. Dog. Oh. There you go. Very smart dog. Now swing. Swing? No? Maybe swing and then do the thing? Alright, maybe swing... During the extreme part of the... No? There's gotta be some way to... Oh, come on! you can get down. There you go. See, doesn't he look like a Pikmin, but like with a droopy sprout? But he's immune to poison. Bug. Mr. Bug. What do I do with Bug? Bug to other bug. They often have little extra things you can click, not for. They don't really do anything, but you can like play a little tune with things, or you can. Uh... I know you can do something with this bug, but it's little extra visual things you can do. Okay, that's how pollination works, kids. I'm not, I'm not sure how that worked, but it, it did, so I, I won't bother. Are we really that lazy? Like, we crash land on an alien planet. We're just like, yeah, you know what? We should ride on the local fauna for a bit. Lessic. See, it looks like he needs LASIK. This is the guy from before. I will really bring me back to me. He's still smoking. It's bad for you. You're gonna get cancer. Freaking face cancer. Which you might already have. Considering your face is like a JPEG. I don't know. Is that how cancer works? Oh. Let's just take this. Okay, do you want this bird? He does want this. Give me your eggs. That is not eggs. You, you can't smoke, bird. What are you doing smoking? You'll get even more cancer. There's, there's, there's a bag down here? Oh. The dog is going to retrieve the bag. Okay. That reminds me of that bird. What's with birds and smoking? Because it's a smoking bird. Oh. It's a badger. Run. Badgers. Its entire face is a mouth. It's like the ultimate chimera. What can we do? Oh! I peed. There's a pee button, so that's nice. <laughs> I'm out of pee! Oh no! I'm doomed. Oh wait, there's water. Puzzles. No, that's puzzles. You're a dog. You have to pee your way out of trouble. Realistic. This is how dogs solve problems. That's right, Parker. Hello! Are you- are you here to, for anti-dog propaganda? I see. Hello. You're- you're very in the way now. Oh, there's- there's a bone! Give the bone. To dog. Do badgers like bones? I don't think- video games love doing this, but I don't think that's how that works. I don't think if you gave, like, a vicious dog a bone, and then just walked right past it into its, like, nest. Like, I don't think dogs have nests, but if they did, I don't I don't think that would get you very far, but whatever. We got Parker. Parker. <laughs> Anytime you see my mouse go crazy like that, Parker is usually bumping his face into my hand. He's like, human, why is your hand on this strange bar of soap when it could be on my head petting me? <laughs> That's right. Well, ain't that classy. He's got a freaking firefly friend to light his his freaking pipe for him. Now that's class, my friend. That is class. Do we, do we get the firefly? I guess it just leads us down this way. 
I'm not entirely sure why that was necessary or why the, the, the thing, the like cockroach taxi thing was necessary. But hey, it was some sort of, so we need to fuel the taxi, but this guy is like sleeping. I guess that's a balloon. I don't know either, Parker. Alright, let's wake this idiot up first. Wake him up. Dog, bark. Use bark. Use the. Ring the thing. What? Excuse me? <laughs> Why does he have that reflex? What, what possible purpose could. Oh! Some coffee, some, I don't know what that is, or that. Let's hope he likes those in his coffee. I'm sure that'll be fine. Some seeds or cocaine or whatever that is. So, <laughs> how would, Pouring boiling water into your mouth not wake you up. Like I don't I don't think you needs coffee. I'm pretty sure if somebody poured boiling water into your mouth while you were asleep, I think you would be aw awake. I think I think that's better than coffee. Like why even involve coffee in this situation? If your friends sleepy, just splash boiling water on their face. What could go wrong? <laughs> there he goes. All right, buddy. Get us, get us some taxi. Hello. Get, get out of the. Okay. Okay, buddy. Hello. Yes. Oh, we can get on. He's not even interactive. We just had to wake him up. I, I guess. You gotta weigh it down. Oh, there we go. Fill it up. Alright, we need the balloon thing, apparently. What do we... Do we go... Is this something? We gotta go into the woods and fill the balloon with... Fuel? Space balloon gas? For space travel? In space? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Suddenly very distant. Perspective. He's just really fast. He's basically Sonic. He's Sonic's weird cousin. Okay. They look like cows that have been... They look like Dolly cows. Like a little bit melty. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's a balloon pumper! That's convenient. Yeah, put that on there. Put that used, I mean, that balloon on there. Hello. Yes? It's a pitchfork. Why is there a pitchfork? Give Mr. Pitchfork Man. Ooh, what's this? It's a stick. Tickle him. Tickle. We got coffee for one. Oh, we're gonna make him sneeze. We're not gonna wake him up. Would that work if you're asleep? Like, would you have that reaction? If you're sleeping, I guess... Maybe. I don't know. Does that actually work? I've never had... Like, I've never... Attempted such madness. Like, does, does like a feather in your nose really make you sneeze? Is that just like cartoons? Oh no! Oh. We gotta collect the fart gas! They fly with fart gas. This is what causes global warming, by the way. Cow farts. Okay, maybe not, but it's an aspect. Oh, no! Man, cow farts are hard to, to capture. This is why global warming is such a problem. The cow farts. We've got tubes to catch them, but you gotta have really good timing. Alright, so that guy's on the right. 
Oh no! How dare you introduce timing into my point and click game. So you gotta suck up the fart bubble before it pops. Wonderful. So the, we, we're gonna refuel our spaceship with fart gas. Is this a South Park episode? I assume we're gonna need more than that. Let's get some more fart gas. It can be a little hard to tell what's supposed to be interactive. Samros 3 has that less. I- ah! Oh, Pete's sake. Come on, little dude. What is this like? It looks like it's just like dirt. Maybe they eat dirt and convert it into space fart gas. For space travel. I like how this is like a farm built expressly for this purpose. Like this is not a coincidence. This is how this works. You, you feed the space cows and you collect the fart gas. And then you go in the space taxi and drive into space with space cow gas. That's right, Parker. All right, balloon. Okay, it's an item again. Hooray! Just carry the balloon. Ignore the smell. It's fine. You better appreciate this, Mr. Taxi Man. You cannot imagine the foul space cow gases I have breathed to get this fuel for you. Alright, get on the thing. Alright. I remember this part being unpleasant. So, we're gonna, you gotta have crazy good timing for this. Well, not like crazy good. But if you don't do that right, it empties out the balloon, and you have to refill it. It's... it's... annoying. Hello? Mr. Man? Mr. Man? Oh! There we go. Dog? <laughs> Our dog is extremely reckless. So three cow farts is all it takes for this ship to travel through space. That is a very efficient, like our scientists on Earth, you know, there's nearly a hundred cow farts are necessary just to travel up to the International Space Station. Did you know that? But on this advanced planet, it takes only three. It does. Dog noises. <laughs> And he's an alcoholic. Hey, drink up, Samros. Oh, it's <laughs> fire breather now. Hello, Parker. You're in the way. Borf, Borf. <laughs> Thanks for breaking my cow lamp. Wonderful dog pee. That's that really ties up the whole situation. Some dog pee. Pfft. He just bumped into nothing. He was in space and he still collided with nothing. That's how drunk he is. That's just how drunk he is. So yeah, this is Samros 2 by M. Anita Design. They make a ton of crazy, um, really cool looking um, point and clicks like this. There's a new one coming out too. Uh, Chuchul, I think it's called. It's more of a humor one. Uh, it's coming out early 2018. I'm really excited for that one. It was 2005. Samurai 3 just came out last year. So, good to see the series back. They've, uh... They do some really cool stuff.